Hi guys, Joe Kelly here. Um, I help actors and also singers and other artists get out of their head so that they can become instinctive in order to really get in the zone consistently and easily so that they can switch from being good actors, which is cool, to actually being great actors. And I'm also the host of the Instinctive Actor Society. It's a free Facebook group for actors who are ready to really move through their blocks and into their instincts. So I included a link in the headline so you can request to join right away. And I'll also post a link in the comments as soon as I'm done with this. So what I want to do today is to share about a couple of ways that you can move from being a good actor, again, which is cool, to actually being a great actor. So someone we all know, Meryl Streep, um, talks about that. And she, she says that the difference between being a good actor and a great actor is actually that the great actor is ready to go out on a limb. So what does she mean by that? Well, the great actor is ready to take a risk to do things differently or uniquely. Um, so it looks like this. You get some sides and you're trying to figure out the right way to read them. So that's you trying to be good. You're trying to respect the writing. You're trying to figure out what the casting director is looking for. And I mean, you can certainly do that, right? You can figure out the right way to do it. If you're smart, you'll do it and you'll be right. And it'll be good. There's nothing wrong. It's good acting. And, and it's certainly the impression that you'll leave in the room. You're like, nothing wrong with this actor. Good. And you'll feel safe and, you know, without any risk. Okay. So that was good acting. Now let's look at what it would look like to be a great actor, to go out on a limb. It would mean you would risk failing, right? Since you're not going for the right choice, you might do something in the room that they won't like. You might be wrong. You might not be right. So I want to ask you now, what kind of feelings does that trigger inside of you? The idea of not being right, the idea of failing, being wrong. Does it trigger any fear? Does it actually make you nervous even listening to me right now into this video? Does the idea of not being right or being wrong, does it stop you from trying the things you actually would want to go for? Right? So if so, if it triggers that kind of stuff in you, I really want you to click on the link that I'm going to be posting in the comments because it's going to lead you to my Facebook group where I have um, given you access to a video in which we will discuss that topic really deeply so that you can go into your fear and get rid of what is in your way um, to actually making some great choices. So in the meantime, let's look at what it means to aim for greatness. So you get the sides and you're not trying to figure out what's the right way to do it. You're not trying to know even how you are going to play the scene. So actually you want to stay as far away as possible from knowing how you're going to play the scene. What you want to know and start doing is asking yourself, why do I even want to play that piece? Why do I want to be this character? And I'm not talking about why do I want to do it because I got some sides and I need the job and I love that casting office and so I want to impress them. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about really inside of you. What is moved by your character's endeavor? Why do you think that your audience would really need and benefit from hearing it and from watching your character, right? And by asking yourself this type of question, you're opening up the door to listen to yourself. You're creating some space to figure out how you want to show up. You want to show up for this character. And that will be the way to go out on a limb, risking showing up as uniquely as you are. Okay, so now going back to the people who are feeling stuck by the fear of doing it wrong, I really invite you to click on the link that's in the title and I'm going to post it in the comments so that you can have access to the video on the Facebook group. It's a free Facebook group. It's a free video. There's plenty of videos there, but I'm giving you direct access to this one so that you can look into what that fear is, 
how you can work through it and access your potential to be great.